So guys, we are in the KTM showroom warehouse. You can see all the bikes. This is the old Whitpillen. And today we are gonna test ride the new Whitpillen 250 looking bold in white. The new switch gears look very premium. Hazard lights, flash. So I'll explain you all the details on the way. Just let's get a feel of this bike. Very compact. Not as committed as the last one, I mean in terms of position. Decent ergonomics for a street bike. So this is the new LC4C 250cc engine. It's got a balancer shaft which makes it extra smooth. I'm uh, 5'10 and feels very comfortable and compact for the street. Very agile gearbox just like any other KTM, slick, sharp. Check on the suspension. Damn good suspension. We got the 43 mm WP big piston shocks at the front. Does a great job. is pretty good the braking is pretty good for a 250cc after 6000 rpm the engine just comes to life I would like to say the new 250cc engine in the KTM lineup, the LC4C engine is the most refined, balanced. You know. Plus this bike being so light, it's really quick. It responds well to my inputs beginner very flickable very flickable maneuvers very easily great option for daily commute 
city riding and the suspension is well tuned for the city it takes all the bumps and humps also it's got the ride by wire technology This is a characteristic of the KTM But I kind of like the rider's triangle Just so compact, ergonomic, not too committed, slightly aggressive Would do great in Indian roads So coming to the power figures uh, this has got 31 PS of power which means uh, 30.5 horsepower and it's got 25 Newton meters of torque So well, let's take it for another spin and check the quick shifter which I so forgot I guess we should be about 3000 RPM to get it right and it has been greatly improved compared to the quick shifter this is the plus I can't help myself from holding the clutch it's become a habit so brilliant quick shift no lag no jerk can just tap let me show that to you now i'm on second gear and is here third gear fourth gear brilliant makes it easier you know you don't have always have to hit the clutch so doing an aggressive downshift and that was so but a smooth just love this machine Love the quick shifter on this one Well thought of you know all the features There is no unnecessary features Like, like the ones on TVS you know We got all the unnecessary features Which we really don't use Seamless shifts with the quick shifter. Let me now just downshift. Downshifting brilliantly. Upshift. There is a good bite at the rear. And feel confident you know that's the key with any bike you should feel confident doing what you do with the brake with the power with the pickup dirty horsepower is really really a fun thing you know Compared to other bikes, you see the R15 just makes around 20-ish horsepower and I don't know how that works but you need a solid 25 horses you know to do your thing on a bike. Last lap. machine and I already have the confidence you know to just just go through overtake take those bumps 
come and make the sudden stops. Brilliant street machine. Let's overtake these uncles. As you can see, it's so effortless overtaking these uncles and boys on the scooters. So let's take them all down. Let's take this curve. Very nimble for zip zapping through traffic. I like the new design language, especially the tank with the shoulders. It's got that road presence and people will consider this a very unique bike. You know, people will look at it. I love the white, it's kind of like that moonlight white. Do a downshift, and that was without the clutch. Brilliant, brilliant, man. So, so if you're planning for a 250, great option is this. Then, of course, you have the D250. nimble you know it got a very short turn radius making it easy to do those quick u-turns and you know reverses love the bike quite comfortable position really love the bike highly recommend this bike for a beginner you know who's not used to power you can handle this well just check out the turn radius like it turns like a cycle no check this out just turning like a cycle So let's check out the bike in broad sunlight. So here it is. Logo. Like the Neo Retro headlight design. Which makes it suitable for the mature riders. Who don't like sharp edges like the KTM. Coolant tank from the D250. Nice suspension from WP Apex. Adjustable again with preload. Nice set of brakes. This is the thicker disc plate. And for the tires, we got the MRF. 150 section by 150 by 60 section 17 inch on the rear so this is the mrf rev what is this mrf revs yeah mrf revs on the front we got a 110 by 70 mrf revs street bike tire does great The upgraded front suspension, brand new LED indicators. So now this has a 13.5 litre tank 
which will make your stops lesser and fewer at the petrol bunk switch gear standard switch gear on all the models a uh, nice build quality the buttons got a click to it it's very easy to operate these buttons even when you are wearing gloves the brakes are brilliant once again the seat is longer than the previous model making it comfortable for the pillion it is a firm seat but usually seats take uh, 3 to 4000 kilometers you know to just sit so pretty comfortable i didn't feel anything wrong with the seat love this green accent wonderful machine compact light peppy a good 250 and this with pillion 250 is cheaper than the duke 250 making it a brilliant choice it's got almost everything is the same other than the design and the design language pretty great machine that's the tail light and let's get into the electronics so standard speedo monochrome rpm gear shift indicator time so we got abs which is two modes in abs one is road and one is supermoto and in bike info we got engine temperature range battery odo and service reminder and some warnings trip info we have a trip 1 trip 2 then we also got a lap timer i guess it starts when we start motion let's check that out so how does that start we should hit start okay we should hit start and as you can see that is lap lap pause unpause no pause play stop stop so we got the so you have all the details here lap 1 lap 2 lap 3 so we can reset laps quite a nice feature when you are on the tracks let's get into settings there is quick selector up down quick shifter plus which is on and there is our shift light okay it's not available unless the bike has done 1000 km clock and date units extra functions let's check that out so we got abs mode and quick shifter plus this is the plus which means it's the updated uh, quick shifter so what else do we got yeah that's it don't think of it as a regular 250 it is a 250 on steroids the engine being from KTM other 250 engines usually produce 20 to 25 horsepower but this this does 30.5 horsepower and really great love the ride quality brilliant machine so there you go the wet plan 250 that was my ride review i'll get into more details just hang on so it's got the bosch dual channel abs with supermoto mode standard easy shift system and it's got the 5 inch lcd display 43 mm big piston wp usd front forks 
So coming to the main point, the price. So this is this cost X showroom Bangalore 218 218,000 and on road it goes up to 287 and delivery will be instant because they already have an inventory of these bikes. This machine would be a smarter choice compared to the Duke 250 because it's around 15,000 cheaper. So that's it for today's video. A big thanks to KTM Maratha Lee for providing me the bike and giving me the opportunity to vlog this brand new machine. Pretty soon there's gonna be a vlog on this amazing machine, the SWAT Pillion 401. So stay tuned. This is gonna be lovely. More details will be revealed. And I pretty much enjoyed riding this, this uh, Whitpillion 250 and this is gonna be one heck of a ride. I'll put the details of the store in the description below. You can come here and get your bike. It will be delivered almost instantly and it will be a great experience. So till then, later, ciao, see you in another video.